I would like to present some of the feature highlights of our new Squish 4.1 release in this video. First, for those who do not know Squish yet, Squish is a leading uh, GUI test automation tool which works cross-platform and cross-technology. So as you can see in this slide, Squish is not bound to just one platform, but it works on platforms like Windows, Linux, different Unix system, Mac OS X, embedded systems, as well as mobile operating systems. And on all those platforms, we support a wide range of GUI technologies for the kind of applications you can automate. Squish has been in the market uh, for about eight years now and is very successfully used by several companies, currently about 1,300 companies all over the world. But now let's talk about Squish 4.1. So what's new in this uh, new release, um, which we have been working on for about a year now? After 4.0, which uh, was a major new release of Squish with a completely rewritten um, development environment, the Squish IDE, we have further improved this IDE um, uh, to give our users even more convenient features and make the life of our users even easier. Some of that you will see in a live demonstration in a moment. Besides that, we have added um, a big improvement uh, for screenshot or image verifications. So far in Squish you could um, create verification points for any kind of properties as well as screenshots. But screenshots comparisons were always a pixel by pixel comparison, which doesn't work very well for more complex graphics like OpenGL views or similar, where slight differences uh, could still be seen as a match. So now we improved Squish to allow uh, certain tolerances uh, and allow tuning screenshot verifications. Then we also improved all the different editions of Squish with uh, um, with new features. For example, Squish for Qt now supports also testing of QML and Qt quick applications on top of the regular Qt um, user interfaces. Squish for Qt also uh, provides pre-built packages for the Migo platform now and we ensured that Squish will work fine with the upcoming 4.8 uh, and uh, Qt 5 releases. Squish for Web, we've improved to support a new range of web browsers which includes uh, the Google Chrome browser, Opera, as well as Safari on the iOS platform, uh, which is iPad and iPhone. Squish for Windows, which was new in Squish 4.0, comes now with support for um, quite a few more uh, control types. So we added support for GUI controls from Infrachistix, Xcontrol, and several more. And another very powerful feature is that Squish for Windows now automatically exposes the whole APIs of your application and of your controls um, from any.NET and COM controls uh, to the Squish uh, object model so you can access all of that through the SPI and through scripting without having to do anything in addition. Squish for Java has been improved in many areas like web start support is improved and um, control support for certain controls has been improved. And one um, uh, another improvement um, which has to be mentioned is that it uh, has been ensured that it works fine with the Eclipse Indigo release which was coming out about a month ago. The Squish for iOS edition which supports testing iPhone, iPad and iPad uh, applications now also supports more gestures and has been improved in some smaller areas as well. And besides that there are many many many, many more features which have been added to Squish. You can read up the full list in our release notes once the release is out but for now um, that's the highlights I want to mention. And now for the live demonstration I would like to show you how the new screenshot uh, comparison feature works for fussy screenshot comparisons um, to make the life of um, testers easier who have to test high graphical user interfaces. Here we now see the Squish IDE of the version 4.1. It is of course still the same Eclipse based IDE as it was in Squish 4.0 but you can see some of the differences already um, in the main user interface. For example we can now edit and manage all our global scripts directly from within the IDE and also exchange the Python editor to use PyDev instead of the DLTK Python editor since the PyDev editor offers much more features um, which are very convenient to use. But now um, what I want to show in this demonstration here is how the new uh, scr a fussy screenshot comparison feature of Squish 4.1 works. To do that, let's uh, first go ahead and create a new test case. So, I'll create a new test case, I call it fuzzy compare. 
Now I will start uh, by recording the test case. I already set up this test suite to use one of Qt's graphics view um, examples. So we'll uh, do a test against this application. So I press the red button here to record my test case um, for a start. So once it's launched, I will now walk through the test which I want to automate. So I will insert um, this graphics element here into the canvas. Um, I also want to insert a text uh, element in here. And this shall say hello squish 4.1 explanation mark. Now I want to make this element bold and I want to move this rectangle further down and then I also want to move the text element into this element. And at this point I want to insert an automated verification into my test script. Um, first I will use a property verification that this text element contains the correct text and that its font is bold. So to do that I go into the squish control bar here to insert this verification point. Once I clicked the button to insert a verification point I see here my complete object hierarchy of the application but I will directly go ahead and pick the object which I want to verify which is um, this text um, element in my graphics view. So I click that this uh, um, diagram text item object is um, displayed here uh, for me and all its uh, properties and I will insert a verification for its text property and also um, I want to verify that the font of this text element is bold. So I will insert a verification for those two properties with these expected values. But now once I've done that, I also want to insert a verification point into my test script which will verify that the rendering of this graphics view is correct. So I actually want to do a screenshot verification of this uh, graphics view canvas. To do that I can go into the control bar and insert here a so-called screenshot verification point. And now again the squish ID comes up again. So I will um, use the pick tool to choose the right object I want to verify, which is this whole graphics view. So I pick that element and uh, click this checkbox to create a reference screenshot form a screenshot verification. And in addition to that I want to give this verification name. I say check rendering. And then um, we can now also see in a second the reference screenshot here at the bottom of this verification point editor and uh, now I can go ahead and insert the screenshot verification point. And that's all I wanted to automate in my test scenario so what I will do I will now record uh, pressing file exit to finish up my test case. Now we can look at the test group which has been generated so all the interactions have been generated as well as my property verifications down here and finally my screenshot verification which executes the verification point check rendering and then we look into this verification point we can see that it will verify that this object with this given name will match the screenshot which we saved here. So that's all we did now we can go ahead and execute this test. So I press the play button now Squish is driving everything, so Squish is running the application and now it will replay the interactions I recorded before including the verification points. Now of course everything passed since um, uh, the screenshot was identical and also the um, properties were as expected. We can drill down into that to see the details. But now let's um, simulate a scenario where a slight difference happens in the rendering which would now uh, of course lead to a failure if the screenshot verification is done pixel by pixel. So to do that I will just comment out this click um, on the bold button which we did in our test so that uh, the text will not be rendered in bold but in regular font uh, type so the verification should then of course fail since the rendering will be slightly different. So now let's run the test again. So everything is again replayed but now the text is not in bold since I commented out this click intentionally and now we also get two failures. Of course the property verification fails since 
um, uh, bold now is false, so that is expected, and it's also expected that the screenshot verification fails because the text is rendered differently. But now let's say that we do not really care too much uh, how the text is rendered exactly, we just want to verify that it is displayed at all. So we want to make the screenshot verification a bit more tolerant against slight differences in the rendering. So what I can do is I can go in here and say I want to view the differences in the screenshot. So this brings up a view which allows me to look at the differences between the reference and the actual screenshot in different modes. So with this red rectangles um, the tool visualizes for me where the actual differences are lying. I can also switch that off. In this case I can actually in the Flickr view quite well see the difference is the text is rendered a bit differently. So obviously there's a difference. Now what I can do, I can go into this comparison mode tab and into the pixel mode and here we see that the actual difference between our two images is just 0.32%. So what I could do for example, I could say I want to increase my threshold to accept everything which is, um, uh, uh, which is a difference of 0.4% or less um, to still be a match. So now I increased my threshold to 0.4% uh, since um, uh, in such a case the image difference is just 0.32% this would be still seen as a match when the test is run. So to verify that I will now save this um, change to my screenshot verification and run the test again. And now it has been executed and of course we still have to fail that the property verification of the bold property of the found object um, is different so that's still expected but what we see now in this run the uh, screenshot verification passed and when we look at the details it tells me the image is matched because the difference is just 0.32 percent and as you remember we said everything below 0.4% is okay and can be treated as difference. That's why this verification passed for this test. So this shows one way how you can configure screenshot verifications in Squish 4.1 to be more tolerant uh, uh, against smaller changes in your images so that um, screenshot verifications still um, uh, pass even if there are small acceptable changes. There are also other algorithms which you can use. Um, so what we used here was the pixel threshold algorithm. There are also ways to um, configure slide uh, the different colors and so on. And there will also be a plugin architecture to allow um, for more algorithms to configure what, um, uh, what uh, shall be treated as um, matching and mismatching images, um, but uh, those two standard algorithms which we offer here cover most of the cases we have seen in the past um, uh, which uh, were challenges for screenshot verifications. Thank you for watching this video about the new Squish 4.1 features. If you need any for more information about our Squish testing tool, please uh, visit www.froglogic.com. There you can also get a fully supported and free evaluation copy. And if you have any additional questions or would like to request a live demonstration of Squish for you and your team, please contact us at sales at froglogic.com.